Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well as usual. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about polishes I've re-added to my collection. I thought about filming this video and I thought it would be the same as filming a backup uh, video, but there is only two backups in here, but one of them is discontinued and the other one I recently just found because I thought I'd never find it again. But I plan to do a backup video, but these polishes are polishes that I've re-added back to my collection for specific reasons and there are actually three different categories here. <laughs> so let's just get into it. So the first three I added back because I did have uh, my nail polish rack break early this year in December so three broke and considering how many were on the rack I was pretty grateful so the first one that I did add back is KB Shimmer's kind of a big deal this is the perfect uh, holiday glitter green it's gorgeous you guys I was pretty bummed when this broke but not too bummed because the maker does keep this as one of her core polishes and with reason because it's beautiful so I was really happy to get it again but it just sucks because you know when you break a polish that you love and you have to react it it's like eh. But it is what it is, so that's the first one. Uh, KB Shimmer is kind of a big deal. Second one up is uh, Polish for Days. This is Kelpie. I was pretty bummed when this broke because the maker does not keep uh, all polishes in stock continuously, probably due to ingredients running out and things like that. But this is like the perfect mermaid, oceany, scaly polish. I love this, you guys. This is totally up my alley. It's my jam. So the place in there shift from like violet to blue to green. It's really gorgeous. So I actually got two of these because, you know, she doesn't always bring polishes back. <laughs> so I had to get this. But yeah, this is a beautiful polish and I really love it. And I was happy to get it back. So that was KB Shimmer's Kelpie. And the last one I added back thank goodness was as hard as nails um holly this is the perfect holiday golden yellow you guys look at that shimmer so good i actually used this for holiday art um not holiday art sorry uh, nail art earlier this year and i really really loved it uh but this just screams like holidays to me it's just very holiday looking yellow and the good thing about nails nailstuff.ca is where i purchased this is because the owner uh, lets you know how many polishes are in stock so I was happy to see there was only one left so I immediately grabbed it <laughs> but yeah that was a hard as nails holly the next few I added back here are because I actually used up a whole bottle of these polishes <laughs> so the first one is Essie's island hopping this is the perfect dusty mauve color I love this you guys this is definitely one of my favorite um, mauve polishes to wear I hadn't been able to find this for a while because I I really just I couldn't find it anywhere and the the bottle that I had before was really goopy and just because I used it so much so I was happy to see that uh, beyond Canada uh, dot com had it installed that website is a godsend because I feel like it's the new sparkle Canada dot com they have all these old school polishes that you really can't find anymore so yeah that was island hoppin by Essie next one up is one from Essie that's been discontinued to my knowledge this is smooth sailing this reminds me of sand like if sand was blue it's beautiful you guys it has that has that like sparkly look that sand has when uh, the sun is kind of shimmering on it a little bit um, this polish is beautiful I love that it has a little bit of hint, hints of pink shimmer in it too you can't see it too much on the nails it comes up more in the bottle but I definitely yes I have a backup of this because it's been discontinued and I couldn't find it for a while but another website came through <laughs> so that was Essie's uh, smooth sailing and this is actually my third bottle of this guy the next one up is one that I believe is discontinued for China Grace too but I'm not positive this is watermelon rind this came out in their 2009 summer days collection that collection was themed all fruit so there was a grape one orange raspberry strawberry next one I'm going to talk about and uh, there was another one but I believe it was uh, six glass fleck polishes and the glass fleck here is what sets these apart they're so unique um, I just love this this is just a perfect like emerald green shimmer polish I really love this one and it's the original because the label <laughs> so yeah that is one that I found on sparklecanada.com and I did end up using one bottle list and I couldn't find it after so I was pretty happy that I found it again so that was watermelon next rind. one up is one of my top china glazes this is strawberry fields this came out in the same collection has watermelon rind this the glass fleck in there you guys 
Yep, my favorite part. This builds up in three coats. You don't really need three coats, but I love seeing the, shil the golden shimmer pronounced on my nails. It's gorgeous, you guys. I love this polish. It's like perfect summer polish. Looks good on your toes, on your nails, everything. So that was Strawberry Fields. And also, this is my third bottle of this guy as well. The last one that I added back because I used a whole bottle of is Ahoy. This came out in China Glaze's 2000, 2011 spring collection. That spring collection was themed all nautical, so the finishes in it were super unique and the names as well. Actually, yeah, the finishes in it were super unique. I almost have that whole collection. There is two that I'm missing. So this one is a bit darker than Strawberry Fields, but what sets this apart is also how much darker it is. And also it has, instead of golden glass fleck, it has pink glass fleck. You don't see a lot of pink glass flecks in polish. So I really love this one. <laughs> it's gorgeous, you guys. And I've definitely used a whole bottle of this, absolutely. The next four are ones that I gave away. I guess I was feeling super generous. <laughs> so the first one is OPI's Do You Lilac It? This is the perfect purple co color, which is, well, I'm confused as to why I gave it away, but that's okay. <laughs> this has a little bit of hints of pink in it as well, so it looks super unique on the nails. This is like the perfect springtime pastel color. The formula on it is beautiful. I believe this is a super popular OPI, but it's not too talked about anymore, but I really love this one. If you love purples, you would love it too. So that is OPI's Do You Lilac it? Next one I added back because I gave it away is um, Essie's Bungle Jungle. This is a fiery hot red and it has um, that golden shimmer in it. This is gorgeous, guys. I got this because it's similar to China Glaze's Jamaican Out and I love polishes like this on my nails. And um, not sure why I gave it away as usual again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was Essie's bungle jungle the next one is uh china glazes rich and famous this is the perfect uh barbie pink uh, i gave this away because uh the person i gave it away to really loved pink and they were just getting into nail polish so i felt like this was the perfect um pink to start them off with and um you know this is a core color i believe so i really love this one so that was rich and famous by china glaze and the second to last one that i added back is uh, Zoya's Lola. I picked this up because it's a dupe for China Glaze's Purple Panic. Um, China Glaze has changed the formula for Purple Panic, unfortunately, and I'm actually halfway down the bottle of that one. So I love this one. It's actually, um, I think it's a bit better than Purple Panic because it, the purple shimmer is a bit more prominent. Yeah, but more prominent and also it doesn't dry down to a matte finish and it's a better formula most importantly so i actually gave this away without trying it not sure why but um you know i was in a generous mood you guys that's all i can say so that is zoya's lola and the last one that i added back is kind of an anomaly and an accidental purchase because i forgot the china glaze had changed the formula again for this one so this is china glaze's flying dragon this came out in their neon collection like years ago and this used to be a really vibrant purple with purple um blue and pink glitters in it and the glitters are still there probably that's why i forgot they changed the formula but the base in it used to be a lot darker and it dried down to a matte finish this one still dries down to matte finish but it's not the same color um i'll show you guys a picture of the original <laughs> and then this is a picture of the the reformulated version so it's definitely not the same, but it does dry down to a matte finish. And I do still like the color, even though it's not what I was looking for. And when I tried it, I was like, oh, yeah, they changed it. I was like, darn, but no worries. I still loved it. So it did work out. So that was China Glaze's Flying Dragon. All right, guys, that was it for this video. Let me know what polishes you've re-added to your collection and for whatever reason. They're probably not as silly as mine. Well, I guess the one, well, the broken one, that, that just had to be done. Yeah, it had to be done. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.